Turning a spare room into a business hub is the ingenious transformation of an underutilized space in one's home into a dedicated area for conducting business. This concept capitalizes on the idea of maximizing existing resources without incurring additional costs, making it particularly attractive for aspiring entrepreneurs on a tight budget. By repurposing a spare room, individuals can establish a professional environment that facilitates productivity, creativity, and focus, essential elements for cultivating a successful business venture. The significance of this transformation lies in its accessibility and practicality. For many, the financial barrier to entry is a major obstacle when it comes to starting a business. By utilizing a spare room, entrepreneurs can bypass the substantial expenses associated with leasing commercial office space, redirecting those funds towards other critical aspects of their business, such as marketing or product development. Moreover, operating from home can offer substantial time savings, reducing commute times, and allowing for a more flexible work schedule, a crucial advantage in today's fast-paced world. Real-world applications of this concept abound. Consider the story of an Etsy seller who transformed her guest bedroom into a crafting studio, ultimately growing her hobby into a thriving six-figure enterprise. Similarly, a graphic designer might convert their attic into a sleek design studio, enabling them to take on more clients and substantially increase their revenue. In both cases, the space is adapted to suit the unique needs of the business, demonstrating the versatility and potential for growth inherent in this approach. Supporters of this idea often highlight the psychological benefits of having a separate, dedicated workspace within the home. This physical separation can help delineate work-life boundaries, promoting a healthier work-life balance and enhancing overall well-being. However, challenges do exist. Zoning laws and residential agreements may restrict business activities in certain areas, potentially limiting what can be done from a home office. Furthermore, distractions of home life can sometimes impede productivity, making discipline and self-motivation vital for success. This initial step of creating a business hub from a spare room serves as the foundation for other critical aspects of the main topic. Building a no-cost business. It influences decisions around business operations, financial planning, and personal well-being. By establishing a productive and cost-effective base of operations, entrepreneurs can focus on scaling their business towards substantial financial success without incurring the overhead costs typically associated with entrepreneurship. The concept of from spare room to six figures encapsulates the idea of starting a business from the comfort and affordability of one's home, particularly utilizing underused spaces such as a spare room and scaling it to generate substantial income. This approach is significant because it democratizes entrepreneurship, making it accessible to individuals with limited initial capital, thereby minimizing the financial barrier traditionally associated with business startups. By leveraging the digital landscape and home-based resources, aspiring entrepreneurs can forge successful paths aligned with their passions and skills. One real-world example illustrating this concept is the rise of e-commerce businesses launched from home. Many entrepreneurs have successfully started selling products online via platforms like Etsy or Amazon, handling everything from inventory to customer service from their spare room. Another example is the proliferation of service-based businesses, such as freelance graphic design or writing, where individuals capitalize on their expertise and utilize digital tools without needing a separate office space. Supporters of this approach argue that the low initial investment reduces risk and allows entrepreneurs to be more experimental and adaptive. By starting small and scaling based on demand, business owners can effectively manage resources and grow organically. The flexibility of a home-based setup also affords a better work-life balance, appealing to those seeking autonomy over their work environment and schedule. However, challenges associated with this concept include potential isolation from working alone, which can stifle creativity and motivation. Additionally, the lack of a distinct separation between work and personal life may lead to burnout or difficulty maintaining productivity. Critics of the home-based business model also highlight possible legal and zoning challenges, as some residential areas may have restrictions on commercial activities. Despite these challenges, the idea of transforming a spare room into a thriving business integrates seamlessly with broader themes of digital innovation and entrepreneurship.
It aligns with the growing trend of remote work and the gig economy, where traditional boundaries of workspace and employment are continuously redefined. By empowering individuals to tap into the global marketplace from their homes, this concept not only promotes financial independence, but also contributes to a dynamic and diversified economic landscape. Ultimately, the approach exemplifies how resourcefulness and innovation can pave the way for substantial economic success, influencing and inspiring other aspects of entrepreneurial ventures. Identifying and leveraging personal skills and resources is a fundamental concept in transforming a spare room venture into a six-figure business, particularly when operating with no initial capital. This concept involves a thorough self-assessment of one's talents, experiences, and assets to harness their full potential for business success. It's about recognizing what you're naturally good at, what you enjoy doing, and how these can be transformed into services or products that fill a market need. Additionally, it involves utilizing available resources such as existing equipment, space, or networks to jumpstart the business without incurring unnecessary expenses. The significance of this point in a no-cost business guide cannot be overstated. When capital is limited, the ability to capitalize on what is already at your disposal becomes a crucial strategy for growth. This approach minimizes initial expenditures, allowing the entrepreneur to focus on reinvesting early profits into expansion rather than repaying startup costs. Furthermore, by building a business around one's skills and resources, entrepreneurs are likely to feel more passionate and committed, which is invaluable for long-term success. Consider, for example, an individual skilled in graphic design who uses their spare room and personal computer to start a freelance design business. By leveraging their design skills and existing equipment, they can begin offering services to clients without needing to invest in office space or additional tools. Another example could be someone with a knack for social media management, utilizing their knowledge to help local businesses grow their online presence. They use only their smartphone and internet connection to establish a client base showing how personal skills and resources can lead to a thriving business. Several entrepreneurs and business experts advocate for this approach, emphasizing that personal skills and resources are often the most underappreciated yet powerful assets. They argue that entrepreneurial success often stems more from creativity and resourcefulness than from initial capital. However, challenges do exist. One potential issue is overestimating personal capabilities, which can lead to burnout or under-delivering to clients. Additionally, some may argue that leveraging personal skills can pigeonhole a business, limiting its scalability if the business relies too heavily on the individual. This concept also dovetails with other aspects of starting a no-cost business, such as networking and marketing. By clearly identifying and honing what you can offer, you can more effectively market yourself and connect with potential clients or collaborators. Ultimately, identifying and leveraging personal skills and resources lays the groundwork for sustainable growth and innovation, serving as a catalyst for turning a modest venture into a lucrative enterprise. The concept of transforming a spare room to six figures encapsulates the idea of starting a profitable business from the comfort and minimal overhead of one's home. This approach leverages existing resources, like a spare room, as a base to launch a business without the traditional costs associated with renting or maintaining a separate office space. The significance of this point in relation to the main topic is profound, as it underscores the feasibility and accessibility of entrepreneurship. By utilizing a spare room, aspiring business owners can bypass the financial barriers that often deter individuals from pursuing their entrepreneurial dreams. This point highlights the democratization of business opportunities in the modern age, where technology and creativity allow for lucrative ventures to emerge from the humblest of beginnings. One real-world example of this concept is the story of Apple Inc., which famously started in Steve Jobs' garage. While not exactly a spare room, the garage functioned as a cost-free, resourceful space. That facilitated the building of what would become a tech giant. Another example can be found in the rise of Etsy sellers, who often use spare rooms to create and manage their craft businesses, turning hobbies into substantial income streams with global reach. These examples demonstrate how spare rooms can serve as fertile ground for innovation and enterprise, often yielding significant financial success. Support for this idea is widespread, with many entrepreneurs and business experts advocating for home-based startups as a low-risk entry into business ownership. 
They argue that home-based businesses offer flexibility and scalability without the overhead costs, allowing entrepreneurs to focus their resources on product development and marketing. However, potential challenges arise from this model, including zoning laws, which can restrict business activities in residential areas, and the difficulty in separating work from personal life, leading to potential burnout. Additionally, some critics argue that the lack of a formal office environment might limit networking opportunities or reduce the perceived professionalism of a business. Despite these challenges, the concept of starting a business from a spare room is integrally connected to broader themes of innovation and financial independence within the main topic. It influences other aspects such as marketing strategies, product development, and operational logistics, which can all be effectively managed from a home base. This approach emphasizes the potential for individuals to significantly scale their businesses to six figures and beyond using ingenuity and strategic resource management. Through this lens, the transformation of a spare room into a thriving business venture stands as a testament to the power of resourcefulness and determination in the entrepreneurial journey. Share, like, and follow for more tips.